In this lesson, we will learn how to use pre-trained deep neural network to denoise grayscale images. Using pre-trained networks saves huge amount of time and effort. These networks are well trained and thus generate excellent results. That means you can get better accuracy with less time and effort. I hope you are very excited about this lesson. Let's get started. The implementation process has been divided into four steps. In the first step, we will collect, load and process the images. In the second step, we will load the pre-trained network. The third step deals with the passing of the noisy image to the network and getting the denoised image. And the fourth step is showing the result. In a nutshell, the implementation steps are preparing the images, loading the network, denoising the image, and displaying the result. First, create a folder in the desktop or anywhere else you like. Name it Image Denoising. Now we need an image. Open your browser and search for an image. I'm going to search for an image of a dog. Click on the image. This one looks nice. Click on it. Then right click and save it in the image denoising folder as dog. Now launch the MATLAB. and browse for the folder we have created in the desktop. Here it is. Select this folder and it will be shown in the current folder window. Now click on this plus symbol to create a new script. Save it as image denoising in the image denoising folder. At the first line, we will use the imread function to load the image, then store it in a variable named original image. We need to check if this image is a grayscale image or not. If it is not a grayscale image, then we have to convert it to grayscale image. To do it, I'm taking an if condition. In the expression of the if condition, use the size function. The first argument is the source image. Here it is in the original image variable. The second argument is tree. We want to know the number of channels of the image. When we set tree here, we get the number of channels. If this function returns tree, then the image has three channels. That means we need to convert it to grayscale image. I'm using RGB to gray function to convert it to grayscale image. If the loaded image is grayscale image, no conversion is necessary. This is the end of the if condition. Now we're going to add some noise to the image using imNoise function of MATLAB. This function can add different types of noise based on the input argument. The first argument of this function is the image where the noise will be added. In our case, the image is stored in original image variable. The second argument is the type of noise we want to add. I want to add Gaussian noise to the image. The next argument controls the mean of the noise. We don't need it. Set it to zero. And the last argument is the variance. It controls the density of the noise. Set it to 0.03. If you want, you can increase the variance to increase the amount of noise. Now I'm loading the denoising convolutional neural network, in short, DNCNN, using denoising network function and storing it in a variable named net. 
passing the noise image to the network using the noise image function. This function takes two arguments. The first argument is the variable where the noise image is. In our case, it is this variable. The second argument is the network. In our case, the network is a net variable. This function returns the denoised image. It is time to display the result. I'm using montage function of MATLAB. We can show multiple images using this function. I want to show the original image, noisy image and denoised image. Then we can set a title on top of the montage window. I'm writing first one is original image, second one is noisy image and the third one is denoised image. We are ready to go. Now click on run. It will take some time to generate the result. Here it is. This is the original image. This is the noisy image. And here is our denoised image. This is how we can denoise images using pre-trained deep neural network. In the next lesson, we will see how to denoise a color image using pre-trained deep neural network.